Hello all. So in this tutorial, I'm going to model a stylish dining table and chair in 3ds Max. So this is for beginners. So let's get started. It's also for beginners and also who wants to learn uh, the things like, you know, using a spline and all this stuff over here. So let's get started. So let's go into rendering view image file. Let's take a reference over here go into the dining and I'll just take a reference of this dining table over here. So after I have taken this uh, reference over here, very first of all, how we are going to create is like, very first of all, let's take a plane over here. We'll create a table first. So for creating a table, let's take a box over here. Let's take a box. Just push this box up over here. Let's go to the top view over here. Select this box over here. So now what I'm going to do over here is like I'm going in the line tool. I can even use an arc over here. So I'll, I'll go over here. I'll just draw a straight line and I'll just give a slight arc over here. In this way. That's it. So after you have assigned an arc over here, you can uh, right click convert to editable spline, push this arc a bit inside rendering, enable in viewport and make it as a rectangular and increase its thickness. And if you want, you can just increase its length also. And let's just, uh, you know, push this up. I'm sorry this part go into this hierarchy effect pivot only center to object just push this up over here so once you have pushed this up over here i'll go up to the top view into this you can just reduce its width over here and we have one option over here that's your mirror option let's make a copy of it in y axis and just drag it over here after you're done over here we also need one more over here curve for that let's again go into this let's take a arc over here and let's just draw oops i'm sorry let's draw a straight line over here and let's give a small arc over here and let's just push this inside so we can also go into this again hierarchy affect pivot only center to object and again we'll take a mirror in x axis and just duplicate it over here. that's it so we can just push this up over here let's say. so select this over here and let's give a color over here so for this glass what we'll be doing is like uh, right click convert to editable poly I'll just scale a bit not much a bit and I'll just add one swift loop over here. I'll add one swift loop over here. I'll add one swift loop over here. So just select this stuff, go into material, press M. I'll just give a glass material, go into the architectural and let's just give a glass clear to it. Better. After that, what we'll be doing is like, again, I'll go down. I'll just take a line tool over here. Even I can take a line tool or I can just go to the top view. And let's take a cylinder over here. So let's take a cylinder. Just drag it up over here. So 
just push this up select this cylinder reduce its radius and increase its height over here in this way and most important over here is like you can go into this modifier list and give a taper modifier so let's give a taper modifier over here you can just increase it over here you can increase its taper and reduce its radius and increase the taper that's it so once you are done with this over here you can go to the top view over here and just make a copy of it again select this and again duplicate this over here that's it all right so once it is done over here so now what we'll do is we'll just create this chairs over here so for creation of this chairs is very simple over here let's go on to this any of the view first first we'll create this main bracket over here for that let's go into this take a line over here let's take a line uh, before going into the line I'll off this enabling viewport over here I'll just take a bracket in this way that's it all right so let's go into this make it as a radial enable in viewport and increase its thickness so once you increase its thickness over here in this way so you can just push this up this much is okay much better so you can just convert to editable poly and I can just uh, scale it in this way now what I'll do over here is like again I'll go into this and I'll take a line over here I'll just take a line over here which is just connected in this way over here and also I'll go into this and I'll just mirror it I'll make a copy of it I'll push this over here. so select this both convert to editable poly select the vertices and just scale this a bit select the vertices and just scale a bit like this so now what I'll do over here is like we need some kind of a support over here so I'll be again taking a line and I'll make it as a rectangular over here uh, first let's take a line over here I'll just close this over here and uh, I'll just activate this enabling viewport I'll reduce this I'll just go into the modifier list and give a modifier called extrude just give a extrude modifier over here onto the top of it that's it so select this 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 and this and let's just make a duplicate of it just make a duplicate of it let's go to the top view over here let's just draw this chair sitting over here this is very big make it smaller so just push this till here so convert to editable poly push the vertices a bit back over here so I'll go to the top view over here I'll just push this over here go into the edges over here and let's give some 
connect to it go into the vertices and just push this out over here so just push this over here that's it and also you can uh, add few vertices or few edges over here that's it and you can go into this and give a FFD box over here let's go into the control points of this and you can just push it down not problem select this and just push it inside that's it so if you want to make it much more thicker you can just push this up not problem so after you're done with this so now what I can do over here is like again I will go into this view over here I'll again take a box over here I'll take a box for this support over here so I'll just scale it down a bit convert to editable poly let's add some connect to it so let's give FFD box over here to go into the control points select this push it up a bit so push it a bit inside push this a bit inside this way select this and this select this both and just push it outside so select this a bit alright so you can just <coughs> rotate this and you can push this over here ok very important is scale it scale this stuff okay one thing uh, what uh, we have to do over here is like we'll be just rotating this part of it inside in this way so select this again uh, mirror it y axis So if you want to push this closer, you can just make it closer, not a problem. Select this, just drag this over here. alright so just mirror it copy it push this over here and 
make this as a 90 degree mirror it <coughs> and click ok that's it all right that's it so thanks for watching this tutorial